This 200-ton antenna at the Moree Earth Station for satellite relayed communications and this microelectronic device containing circuits reduced to the size of a pinhead are two examples of the enormous range of modern telecommunications products. Both are the work of Australian firms, members of the Australian Telecommunications Development Association. Extremes in size, they illustrate the high technological capability of the industry in this country. The association consists of companies which design, make and supply equipment used in communications channels on land, at sea, in the air and out into space. Communications that range from the familiar telephone and telegraph to international television hookups girdling the globe by satellite relay and the tracking of space vehicles journeying to the moon and beyond. Let us look at some of this highly developed and progressive industry's contributions to the efficient functioning of the machinery of modern living. Wire forms the very skeleton of the inconceivably complex communication systems. Wire for conducting current, fine wire for connections, plastic insulated wire, wire to be reworked into various components, wire twisted into cables of many strands for trunk lines, often carrying hundreds of circuits. People are apt to think of telecommunications simply as the telephone though in fact they embrace various message sending methods, control systems, recording devices, automatic apparatus and more. Of this familiar handset phone, more than two million have been made here for the Australian Post Office. Crossbar switching equipment for automatic telephone exchanges is made in Australian factories. Indeed, the post office buys about 90% of its telecommunications needs from the Australian industry. Now the first order has been placed for the next big technical advance. An automatic trunk exchange with computer processor control. This is what is revolutionizing communications. Each of those tiny patterns is an integrated circuit of microscopic size. The object in the center is an electronic package which replaces all the transistors, diodes and resistors surrounding it. This capsule, smaller than a postage stamp, takes the place of all this old time apparatus. This is quartz crystal. Crystals cut from the raw material and processed become oscillators that accurately set the signal frequency of radio transmitters. Research encouraged by the Department of Supply has produced crystals of great precision and perfectly matched sets of crystals to reduce the effects of temperature. Like micro-sized integrated circuits, precision quality crystals are vitally important in military systems as well as commercial services, in radar, computers, reconnaissance apparatus and in gunnery control and rocket firing systems. In making the tiny devices that do the work of many components, circuits are drawn with utmost precision and then transferred by photographic reduction to thin slices of silicon. The silicon is treated in glass-lined ovens, subjected to heat and to the effects of certain gases. The slices are cut into chips and then encased in a package large enough to provide connections of practical size. Micro circuits and precision crystal oscillators are used in a lightweight transmitter and receiver designed and made here for the Australian Army. A man pack set weighing only 20 pounds. Zero Alpha Roger. Search the bunker system now. Over. The sophisticated level of Australian technology is well illustrated by the radio-controlled Jindavik pilotless target aircraft. 
a system engineered in this country and bought by several friendly nations. Sequence start. Four. This is a special radio antenna, the localizer of an improved instrument landing system that serves aircraft. Australian telecommunications firms make most of the navigational aids required by the Civil Aviation Department, including distance measuring apparatus and most of its communications equipment, including radio teletype machines. Did you get the tender documents for the PMG message switching equipment, please? Yes, Mr Brown, I'll do that for you straight away. The old office switchboard has become a neat and stylish instrument on a desk called a private automatic branch exchange. Or a series of compact cabinets make up a private exchange able to handle a large volume of traffic. Again, the wiring and all the components are of Australian manufacture combined in equipment that serves the busy needs of, for instance, a big shopping centre. Others need written communication, and so that complex machine, the teleprinter, is an important facility. And this, too, is made in Australia. It is essential to the armed services, and its use is increasing in business and commerce. Subscribers who lease teleprinters call each other through an automatic telex network, and they can make calls to numerous other countries. Electronic controls and computer operation are applied to the mammoth job of sorting letters in the Sydney Mail Exchange. The installation has been the butt of jokes and criticism, much of it ill-founded. In fact, it was so advanced in its engineering that some of the equipment designed for it has since been bought by the United States of America. This jet-powered surfboat is equipped with two-way radio to make its life-saving role more effective. Mobile radio telephone systems are used in very many fields, in departmental operations, in business vehicles, in ambulances and doctors' cars. Radio in a harbour ferry not only provides emergency communication, but assists the captain in normal operations. Radio phones save time, overcome delays and avert waste. Over 31. Problems here, Bob. Still won't be ready for two hours. Where will I go? Take it to mainline Kirribilli, 31. Roger. The control centre of a statewide electricity distribution grid. Telemetering apparatus enables an officer to watch the operations of far-off power stations. Computerised control anticipates rises and falls in power consumption. Its several communications methods include microwave radio links. One of the biggest privately owned communication systems connects iron ore mining in the remote northwest with its seaport and with the post office network. And it controls the mile long ore trains. Okay, five, four, five, six, seven, dispatch. Uh, Roger, we have now passed mile post 90, nine zero. Okay, thank you. Leading telecommunications firms engage in research and development, an investment in future benefits. Career opportunities attract engineering graduates and await youngsters willing to gain qualifications. Young people will take part in an exciting future. A future in which dramatically improved services for ordinary Australians will come from increased use of communications satellites. This film emphasises the vast achievements of the Australian telecommunications industry and the spectacular changes it has brought about. The industry not only will fulfil Australia's needs, but by its exports will help the communications needs of other countries. Australian telecommunications manufacturers are planning for the future of this space age era.